in the previous part of our lecture we had discussed the rotational dynamics of a rigid body expressed in the inertial frame zero and we had expressed it as rate of change of the angular momentum of the body b about its center of mass expressed in the frame zero as equal to the rate of change of so this angular momentum was written as i into omega where i was the inertia tensor of the body b with respect to the center of mass expressed in the frame zero multiplied by the angular velocity of the body b with respect to the frame zero expressed in the frame zero. and this was caused by the rate of change of this angular momentum was caused by the resultant of the moments the moments due to the forces fi about the center of mass of the rigid body plus any other moments that would be applied on the rigid body now this term here i omega it is the angular momentum of the body rigid body about its center of mass expressed in the frame zero and is written as the inertia tensor multiplied by the angular velocity so it is the angular momentum of the body with respect to the center of mass c observed and expressed in the inertial frame zero now the inertia tensor itself is defined like this which we have seen in our previous slides so here you have minus summation mi r cross r cross so this r cross is right obtained from the r vector which is the vector from the center of mass to the point i and these vectors are expressed in the inertial frame so the cross matrix is obtained from this vector so this is the inertia tensor of the body with respect to the center of mass expressed in the inertial frame z the notable point is that its components can change as the orientation of the rigid body with respect to the frame zero changes so its components depend upon the orientation of the rigid body and so they need not be constant as the rigid body changes its orientation the components of this inertia tensor will also change if we fix a frame b on the rigid body then we have the inertia tensor expressed in the frame b defined like this here it is the inertia tensor of the body with respect to the center of mass expressed in the body frame b <clears throat> these vectors are i with respect to c expressed in the body frame b this vector is constant because in the body frame the point i does not move the r cross matrix is obtained from this vector so it's being multiplied here two times so this inertia tensor as its components do not change as the frame b is fixed on the rigid body now comes the question how are these two inertia tensors related the inertia tensor expressed in the frame zero and the inertia tensor fixed on the body frame b let's start from the beginning let's uh, let's write the definition of the inertia tensor expressed in the frame zero so these r cross matrices are expressed in the frame zero now r cross 
can be written as R R cross R transpose. So here you can see that the R cross matrix expressed in B is related to the R cross matrix expressed in zero by just pre-multiplying by the orientation matrix B to zero and its transpose post multiplying by its transpose. When you make this substitution here, you can see that we can write it like this. Here, you will see that you will see that the term here R transpose R it can be reduced to the unit matrix and you can also see that R B to 0 and R B to 0 transpose here uh, both these both these matrices they are not affected by this summation sign because this index i is not present in them. So we can take them out and rearrange this like this. So we have taken r out here and r transpose out here and in between we have this part. This part has become a unit matrix. So we can write it like this. Now we see that we have this bracketed term here and it is actually the inertia tensor of the body B with respect to the center of mass and expressed in the body frame. So the inertia tensor of the body B with respect to the center of mass expressed in the frame 0 can be related to the inertia tensor in the of the body B with respect to the center of mass expressed in the frame B using this transformation. So you have pre multiply from B to 0, orientation matrix from B to 0 and post multiply by its transpose. Its components can change as the orientation of the rigid body with respect to the frame 0 changes. You can see that the components of the inertia tensor in the body frame do not change but what changes is the orientation so the r matrices change r and r transpose change and hence the inertia tensor when expressed in the inertial frame zero that changes so this is how you can relate inertia tensors in different frames